What is going on? We are going to be doing a 10, 15 minute driving tour of Roslyn, Virginia. Great little neighborhood right across the bridge from DC. Super convenient, super modern, and lots going on. So I'm going to tell you all about the neighborhood, the properties, everything you need to know. So here we are coming down Clarendon Boulevard, which is one of the, there's Wilson Boulevard and then there's Clarendon Boulevard. And then over here on our right, this is the Gaslight Square condo building. Um, there, so there's actually three different buildings. It's 117 units and it's, it's very modern, uh, very tall ceilings, uh, very, very popular in this area. And then we have the Wooster and Mercer building. Uh, so this has floor to ceiling windows, spiral staircases, rooftop decks. Uh, again, a very luxury high end building, very popular in this area. Okay, so we'll continue driving down Clarendon Boulevard. Uh, you have apartments, there's hotels. Uh, Roslyn was usually known for more like office buildings, but now it's becoming more residential, more restaurants, uh, more amenities, that type of thing. So these are luxury apartments and some office buildings. You got a Starbucks here on the right. Actually on our left is Target. So that's a popular uh, little spot in the community. Pretty convenient. You have this interesting art thing going on. Not exactly sure what that is. And then over here we have some hotels, more office buildings, uh, and it kind of has like that Manhattan type of feel. People sometimes people that are coming from um, different places, when they see Roslyn, they think that's D.C. because it's so built up. So it's, it's it's a great place to walk around. A lot of a lot of things to do around here. And actually on our right, that's the WJLA uh, TV headquarters. So you might see your favorite uh, reporters coming out of there. And we are going to head down North Lynn Street. So this is where you have more restaurants. Uh, there's a nice restaurant, Salt. Open Road is kind of right to our left. And then there's some like lunch spots. You have some salad places. There's a pizza place, a couple of pizza places. Uh, these are luxury apartments over here on the left. And then if you go straight, you'll cross the key bridge right into Georgetown. So a lot of people from Roslyn, you know, you can basically walk. Uh, to Georgia. And that's the bus stop where you can basically go to New York City or different places like that. So it's pretty convenient. You just go right there. And we are going to take a left and see a little bit more of the community. That big blue building right there, sorry, it's a little bright out, is uh, Turnberry Towers, which is super popular. And then on our right, there's a beer garden. So they have different things going on there. It's pretty cool. Continental Beer Garden. You can bring your dog, hang out, meet the neighbors. And we are going to make a Quick little turn right here so you can see where the metro is. Um, we're going to take a right. And then you have some more restaurants right here. I think there's a Thai place right there. There's a Bethesda Bagels, Nando's, Perry Perry, where you can get a $20 chicken sandwich. And actually, the headquarters of Nestle is right there, which is pretty cool. So if you're into, if you're into chocolate, I guess, <laughs> if you're into candy... Can go check it out and there's the gold's gym that's my favorite gold's gym as well as the metro so the metro access and the gold's gym is right on top of it then this building to our left is uh you can actually go all the way up and there's a really cool rooftop where they actually have like a little bar and you can walk around you pretty much have the best views of dc so if you're looking for something to do check out that building i think it's called the view of dc very original and you go all the way up and you can see all of dc and we got a Compass Coffee. And then obviously parking around here is pretty tight because you're kind of, you know, it's kind of the Man Manhattan <laughs> feel. So it's, you gotta, I live in this neighborhood, so I know kind of where to park, but it, it can be a little frustrating at times. So we're gonna head back up this. Now we're on Wilson Boulevard, which is the other main road in Arlington. And you have, you have a lot of tour, like Roslyn has a lot of tourists. And different people like come into DC. Like when people go to DC, a lot of times they stay in Roslyn. So you see different groups of people walking around with their fanny packs and their maps and everything. And to our right, there's some more restaurants. There's a little retail strip right there with taco place, chicken place, a few other places. And we're heading up towards Courthouse. The Target is right there on our left. And then on our right, we have uh, the Safeway. So that's the main grocery, the Safeway is the main grocery store in the neighborhood. But then if you go a little bit further up, you have Mom's Organic. And then if you go to Clarendon, which is just, you know, five minutes away or less than that, you have Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and a bunch of other ones. 
to our left we have South Block, a cool little smoothie place. And then up here on our right is the uh, the Pierce Condos, which million dollar condos, super nice. On our left, there's some bars and restaurants, Barley Mac. Actually, this modern looking building on the right is a high school, middle school, HB Woodlawn. I actually went to middle school and high school there when it was at the old building. Um, so it looks kind of cool. And then on our left, you know, we have um, just, yeah, different restaurants. Uh, there's a good Peruvian place, um, sports bar and other types of retail places. And then on our right, there's a really good pho place. There's Greek food, coffee shop, Mexican food place. Uh, we have some more retail here on our left. And we're kind of heading away towards Rosin, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut into this community up here, Colonial Village, which was voted as one of the best places in the United States to live. And it's much more affordable than some of these multi-million dollar condos. Over there on our left is Roadside Grill. It's actually going to be redeveloped, but it's one of the most popular places. It's not like a five-star restaurant or anything, but it's a very cool like neighborhood kind of like hangout spot. So this is Colonial Village. And Colonial Village is a garden style condos, uh, very affordable. And the neighborhood is like very pleasant, very scenic. Um, it looks like parking would be tough here, but actually I used to live in Colonial Village. And, you know, the only time parking was really tough is if it's like, you know, a Saturday night or, you know, sometime when it's like super busy, but usually it wasn't too bad. And the neighborhood kind of has like three different sections. So I think it's about over a thousand different units. Um, and they were built, I believe in the thirties or forties, but very like solid buildings. The one downside with them is laundry is not inside the units, but uh, a lot of people, everyone, everyone loves living there. Except for that one, you know, minor detail with the laundry. That's a deal breaker for some people. But it's very, like, to live this close to D.C., nice neighborhood, walkable, um, very affordable, highly recommend it. So we're going to head back down. And then I'm actually going to go up towards Courthouse a little bit and then head back down a different road towards Roslyn so you can get, like, a different angle. And you can see how close Courthouse and Roslyn are. Uh, to each other. You know, sometimes people kind of interchange them. And right there is Tupelo Honey, which is a really good Southern style food restaurant. And then there's like a beer place, a cool like little beer store, local beer place right there that's popular. And up here, there's always construction going on, you know, new apartments, new offices, something about Arlington. I grew up in Arlington all this development going on. And so this is more of the courthouse neighborhood. And real quick, 10 seconds, if you're looking to buy or sell or have questions about living in Roslyn or Arlington or the DMV, uh, shoot me a text or you know reach out to me. You can call me. Text is usually the fastest and I'd love to uh, help you out. So this is the actual courthouse building. That's actually the, the jail right there. You can actually see the jail right there, the courthouse and jail. And we're going to head back down. Up here is actually the Odyssey building, which is you know, a very modern building. It has the rooftop pool, nice views. Um, very, you know, very popular building. And then you have Sushi Rock, which is right below it. So you have a sushi place, a very good sushi place in the bottom of your uh, building, which is kind of cool. To the right, uh, we have apartments. I actually used to live in one of those apartments. And these are also newer, um, newer apartments. So we'll come down here and actually to the right, we're going to go up there in a few minutes, but to the right is the other side of Roslyn, which is kind of like quieter residential. There's a few places up there, but also kind of a cool place over here. We have a um, condo to our right. There's no, those units don't come up too often, but still a nice building. And then we also have condos to our left. And then there's some small multifamily right here along this strip as well. So there's a couple like good taco truck places around here uh, and we have apartments and then this is the back of, you know, Gaslight Square 
where we were, we were a couple, we were a street over before. Um, and then we're going to head up. I'm going to show you a few parks. Roslyn's cool because it's relatively urban, but you still have some parks and some greenery and like trails and stuff like that. So on our right is another little nice little park. Um, kind of a cool little trail in there. It's not massive or anything, but a lot of people like walk their dogs and uh, you can sit, people sit up here and just relax. <laughs> and yeah, just one block over is Clarendon Boulevard, the street we were on. So right here we have uh, apartments and these are townhomes on our left. Very nice, uh, you know, million dollar townhouses. Uh, some have balconies, elevators. And then on our right, actually some guy is tail tailgating me. I'm, I'm the one driving, someone's tailgating me. So I'm gonna turn into this building right here. This is the Belvedere. And the Belvedere is really cool. You have a pool. People like, people live here for a while. You have nice views depending on where you live. They're big units, uh, you have concierge, um, so it's a pretty well-run building. There's garage parking and that was built in 87. So some of the units are not so updated, but then you have some that are like fully renovated and then, you know, everything in between. So we have more apartments and offices. There's the Starbucks on our left. And an interesting thing, so Arlington, I don't know if you, you're aware of this, Arlington is apparently the most fit city in the United States. So Roslyn has a lot of gyms. I showed you the Gold's Gym, but there's also like boutique places. There's also an Anytime Fitness. There's Bash Boxing, Orange Theory, E60, and, and a couple others. And then you also have, like I mentioned, there's there's trails. So a lot of people do, you know, ride their bike, go jogging. Every Everyone is in pretty good uh, shape around here. This building right here is uh, Key and Nash, and you have everything from one bedrooms up to three bedrooms. It's a newer building, very popular. And then um, that the blue building is Turnberry Tower, which is super luxury. You know the condo fees are a little bit higher, but it's a very cool building, super modern. If you're into that, big balconies. You got valet parking. You got you got everything you would need in that in that building. And then, you know, there's always new like hotels, apartments, different things going up because you're so close to D.C. You're right across. I mean, you might even be able to see D.C. from here. So Langston Boulevard is the border of the community. And this park right here, so there's two parks. There's that park and then just on the same, just right ahead of it on the left, there's another park. So they do live music. There's like movie nights. There's yoga, there's concerts. They have a lot of different things going on in those, in those two parks right there. This guy with his nice pink shirt. And we are going to take a right. And then we're going to go up in the community. I'm going to show you a little bit more of like the townhomes. Uh, there's some older townhomes, some newer townhomes, and it's kind of a little more residential. So we'll go up here. And that church, that's actually a church right there with a gas station beneath it. So you don't see too many, uh, you don't see that too often. And over to our right and left are actually usually pretty good places to park. If you're looking to park in Roslyn, those are two good places to park. I park there a lot. So that's a little insider tip. And this, this street is actually not bad for parking either. So this building up here on our left is the atrium, uh, which is very popular. You have nice views, um, floor to ceiling windows. You know, it was built in 86, so some of the units are not so updated, but some are pretty updated. Um, it has probably one of the coolest lobbies. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll show a picture of the lobby here. And again, you know, it's a luxury type of building. A lot of most condos besides like Colonial Village in Roslyn are going to be more of like the higher end 
luxury type of condos. And then, you know, raw across the, across route 50, which I'll show you, there's some more garden style condos, but, uh, for the most part, it's going to be higher end type of stuff. And then you see back in the neighborhood, there's actually, you know, there's actually townhouses with garages. So you're right next to everything. You know, you can see Turnberry tower in the background right there. Um, but then you can, you can have a lot more space and, you know, still be walking distance. And then we'll go down here a little bit further and there's actually some older townhouse people. These ones don't really come up too often. I guess uh, whoever bought them, bought them a while ago and probably just, they, they rent them out a lot, but you have some, some of these older style townhouses that are pretty cool. So obviously it's a lot more quieter. Roslyn in general is going to be a lot quieter than most than like Clarendon or Boston because you don't have you don't have the same like nightlife and or as many like it's more like people work there um, rather than go out in Roslyn. But like I said, Roslyn has a growing number of amenities. And as far as transportation options in Roslyn, so you have the metro station, you're walkable to Georgetown, there's different bus lines, um, you know, there's there's a lot of garages uh, for, for parking and stuff like that. There's also bike shares and scooters. I'm not a huge fan of the scooters, <laughs> to be honest, but uh, I don't really know anyone that is. And some interesting history uh, with Roslyn. So in the 1800s, Roslyn was more or less like a red light district. Apparently, it had like saloons, gambling, brothels. <laughs> uh, so it was pretty. If you look up the history of Roslyn, it has a pretty interesting uh, history. And then there's also some Civil War history with, with Roslyn. So there was uh, Fort Corcoran, which helped to protect the bridges. Uh, 